Hey everyone, I'm here to answer a couple more questions that we get a lot. Which manifold do I need? We have three very specific manifolds. In this case, these are for the B-series engines. We'll start off with the, the Pro-series intake manifold. This is kind of our classic manifold, often imitated, but uh, never duplicated successfully. This one is CARB approved in California by you know, the CARB EO number right there. And this is kind of what it comes with. This has a basic plenum, and the plenum on this one is fixed. All the fittings are there to run a stock throttle body. This one is good, idle to about 8,000 RPM. This is good for a stock motor or a motor with basic bolt-ons, something that you're not getting too crazy with, but you definitely want to have an improved um, you know, throttle response, torque, horsepower, all that. This will do it for you. Um, this one has a 70 millimeter opening on the throttle body side and you can bore it out to about 74 millimeter. These ones are probably the, the entry level and a lot of people have these. These have become popular all over the world and this is probably just all in all this is probably the best one that you can get for your daily driver that you want to maintain daily drivability and you're just not getting crazy with. This one, the only drawback is if you want to port it you have to kind of cut it open. So we saw that and we wanted to make something available for everybody that if they wanted to port it and they wanted to get just a little bit crazier, nothing too wild, they could go to the Ultra Series Manifold. The Ultra Series Manifold is like the next step. It's an evolution of these manifolds. It incorporates all the good features that you find in the Pro Series intake manifolds and it takes it one step further. For instance, this one does separate right here. So you can pull it apart and port it. This one has all your ports on the back so you can have you know stock uh, drivability and that sort of thing. The only thing about this one, you do have to upgrade your throttle body, but if you're going with a uh, Ultra Street manifold, you're probably going to do that anyways. A good choice for this one would be your Pro Series throttle body or even uh, Alpha Series throttle body. This one on the back side, it has, if you see this, it's got little bosses if you want to do some nitrous injection there, kind of hide them underneath the runners. That's always a fun thing. It also comes with its own throttle body cable bracket. A lot of people just use old GSR ones or something, but we figured we'd provide that for everybody. That way they can uh, just get to bolting it on and get into the streets. I'll show you a little one. This is the inside of those runners. Oh, excuse me. This is the inside of the runners right there. These runners are, um, let's see, these are 8.72 inches long for the people who want it in millimeters. It's just shy of 222 millimeters long on these runners. But there's plenty of material in here for porting. Um, if you guys want to do that, definitely comes out really, really good. This manifold, the uh, Ultra Street manifold, is good anywhere 6,000, 10,000 RPM. That's where that really, really shines. And um, that one's for basic bolt-ons or if you got a mild turbocharge application or a really good all-motor setup, that's where that one's really, really going to shine. This one's a next step up, and this one is kind of what separates the, uh, the boys from the men, I guess you could say. Um, this is for guys who, who do a lot of racing. Professional race teams use this manifold. This manifold is good. We've seen it make 1,300 horsepower on a, you know 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 40 pounds of boost. And this one is the Ultra Series race manifold. Now the reason why we call it a race manifold is it doesn't come with all the bracketry to run your stock uh, devices and that sort of thing. You can't put a stock throttle body on this one. This one is designed to be a race manifold and so this one is actually designed to run what they call a 5.0 Ford bolt pattern. So this runs a 90 millimeter throttle body. The Skunk 2 Pro Series 90 millimeter throttle body will fit on there and it'll bolt right up. Again this is a special thing about this manifold. It actually has two sets of injector ports, one on the front and one on the back. The one on the back aren't drilled out, so that way if you choose to run two sets of injectors, you can do so. If not, you don't have to worry about it leaking on you. Again, this one comes apart, so you can go ahead and port it if you want. I'll show you a quick example of one that somebody kind of started to work on a little bit. I think one of our employees is, is planning something. So this is his manifold that he started to port. Very beautiful, 87 millimeter runners right there. They're a lot shorter than let's say the Ultra Street Manifold, but that's because this is made for more of the boosted applications. This really shines 7,000 RPM, 10,000 RPM, and that's not to say that you can't use it on an all-motor application, um, but it really, really shines in that capacity. 
we've seen people pick up big numbers just by switching from another manifold to this one. This is some of the hardware that comes with the ultra manifolds. The ultra manifold has the option of upping the volume of this plenum. Stock, it comes with three and a half liters in this plenum. These are the actual spacers. So each spacer, you can increase it uh, one liters or two liters. So you can end up with a 5.5 liter intake manifold. This is a one liter spacer. So adding this spacer to the ultra race manifold would net you a 4.5 liter manifold. This other spacer is a two liter spacer. And if you ever have one, you don't know what it is, it's etched right there with the Skunk 2 logo. So this is a two liter spacer and this will take you to 5.5 liters. Um, professional race teams right now are using the 5.5 liter manifold and making quite a bit of power on it. Both the Ultra Race and the Ultra Street, they come with a thermal gasket. That way you don't have a bunch of heat soak going from your head to your intake manifold. You want to keep that as cool as you can. But this is some of the things that come with it. Uh, water block off plugs, you have some fittings and stuff for all your vacuum lines. This is just some of the stuff to make sure you can get on the road right away. Um, but if you guys have any questions, be sure to check out our Facebook, skunk2.com, or give us a call. We'd be happy to help you.